Okay, tomato three. It's time to change the flow. Yes. And we have the help of the compiler and our tests. Exactly. So let's go to the test and let's see what we should change first. Mm -hmm. First of all, I don't really name it to yeah. delegate. That's what we want it to be. Yes, yes. So let's call this delegate. Rename. Let's run the tests. Very nice. Awesome. Commit. Rename property to clarify new intent. Fantastic. Now I don't really name this type. Right. Can we do this here? Yes. Yes. So let's call it delegate spy. It's a short scope, it's private here. Right. Very nice. So look at this. I just noticed we have a string here for this type. So every time we rename this, yeah. we huh. need to remember to change this string. Yeah. Should probably remove that, but not now. Let's just yeah. rename it here. Commit renamed the spy helper to clarify new intent. So should we remove this? Yeah, we can get rid of it. It's a very short scope. Yes. Remove unnecessary and fragile comment. Yes. <laughs> By the way, if you're curious what this weak SUT is, we have a free video about it. Right. We can add to the description. Yeah, we'll put it in the show notes, yeah. Great. So we clarify some intent already with naming. Yes. So why don't we make these conform to the quiz delegate? Look at that. Yes. We can implement the stubs and then we can delegate the routing inside the handling. So we can move this here yes. and call handle. Yes, exactly. Handle question, answer callback. Okay. And then we mm -hmm. can do the same with the handle result. We move this code up there and we invoke here. Yes. Okay, let me compile this. Let's run the test and it feels like a very big change. It passes. Okay. So basically here we have the new behavior that we want, but we also are backwards compatible with the router protocol, which is fantastic because we only have a couple of renames and refactors to do to get rid of the router protocol there. All right, we're getting there. So we make the delegate spy conform to quiz delegate, forwarding messages from the old APIs. Right, exactly. Okay, so since this is handle now, I want to rename these to handled questions. Yes, yes. Let's call it handled questions. Very nice. Let's run the test. Passes, commit. Renamed spy property to clarify intent. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the routed result. Yeah. Or routed result. Right. The never ending debate. Handled result? Yes. Rename. Run the tests. Perfect. Almost there. Let's look at the test now. We are using the new naming apart from the test names. Yes. It looks like this is the last step in the test refactoring. Yes. Then we move to production. Let's see. When we have no questions, it does not route to question. So this should be does not handle question. So does not delegate question yeah. handling. Yeah, I like that. So delegates correct question. Handling. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So delegates, correct question. Mm, I don't like this name, underscore two. So I don't say delegates another correct question handling. Yes, okay. Routes to first question, delegates, first question handling. Mm -hmm. Delegates, second and third question handling does not delegate question handling. Okay, and this one is about scoring. Right. 
Okay, the tests are passing. Let's commit. Yes. Rename tests to clarify new intent. Yes. I think we are done with the refactoring here. Now it's time to change production code. Let's have a look. And if we make this conform to quiz delegate now, what would happen? We have less warnings now? Yes. Or errors? Yes, only in the production side. So we just need to use the new API's handle instead of root2. Mm, but it's still breaking some outside code. Let's have a look. Yeah. Right, there it is. Type R does not conform to protocol quiz delegate. Ah, so this is a problem because the flow that the game public API holds, it requires the type to conform to router. Right. But if we change the flow, it's going to break the public class. But this property is not public. Right, it's internal. Which yeah. means, yeah, exactly, because the flow is internal. So no one from the outside can see these properties. So, okay, that's good because we can get rid of this yes. type information here. We don't care about this anymore. Right. So this should solve it. But now we break it here. Right. right. Oh, because it needs this type information. This right. constraint that is in the type should be applied to the function now. Yes, it should go to the function. Okay. We can just move it here. Yes. Let's see. Okay, so the problem now is that we are passing a router, mm -hmm. but the new API expects a quiz delegate. A quiz delegate. Okay. So we narrowed down the error now to this function. Mm -hmm. And what I would like to do is just to remove this type information here, those constraints. The problem is that this is a public API. Yes. So any type we remove here, it breaks the clients. Exactly. We are lucky that this is internal. Yes. So we can do whatever we want. And since it's deprecated, I don't mind using any here. We have enough tests. But how can we pass something that implements the quiz delegate, but is also a router? Hmm. Well, it would be nice if I could create an extension on the router protocol to implement the quiz delegate. Right. <laughs> The problem is that Swift doesn't allow you to do that. Yeah, yeah. Because of the associated types. Well, why don't we create an adapter, like a bridge there, that bridges from the router to the new quiz delegate? Something like we did in the tests, where we're going to forward the messages from one protocol to the other. OK. Let's make it private, right? Yes, that's a private. Quiz delegate to router bridge bridge yeah or adapter yeah this will implement the yes. quiz delegate yes and it's going to get a router as a collaborator and then forward its messages and the router of course this needs to be generic there i believe correct like this Yes. Okay, we're getting there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Should we stop here or just try to get this done quickly? Let's do it quickly. Okay, we just need to implement the handle methods mm -hmm. in the quiz delegate and literally just forward to yeah. the router. Yeah. yeah. Root to result. And the other one is handle question. Yeah. And we're going to say router dot root to question and the answer callback. That's it. Perfect. Let's try putting it in the flow constructor. Something like this. Yeah. Oh, and it needs to omit all the generic types there. I don't know why this happened. Yeah, Xcode. Okay. So this is R dot question. Yes, that's R dot question, because these are the types from the router. Okay, all the tests are passing. And I like that this is private. This is private, and we can also deprecate that to avoid the warning, I believe. Because this should go away. Yes. Along with the deprecated types. Correct? Mm-hmm. So we should probably add it to the list. Yeah. Commit, and that's it for this tomato. Yeah, follow the process replaced the flow router with a quiz delegate.
Okay, let's review the changes quickly. Here we literally just used the new APIs. Yeah, it's perfect, renamed. And in the game, we had some extra work to do. It's fairly simple, it's 100% tested, I trust it works. Excellent. And big lesson, careful with those generic constraints in public APIs. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, we will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.